I believe that if the renewable energy is the long-term solution for a sustainable future, it should appear as something that we want to be engaged in and learn about it. Welcome to Growing Impact, a podcast by the Institutes of Energy and the Environment at Penn State. Growing Impact explores cutting-edge projects of researchers and scientists who are solving some of the world's most challenging energy and environmental issues. Each project has been funded through an innovative seed grant program that's facilitated through IEE. I'm your host, Kevin Sliman. On this episode of Growing Impact, I speak with Ihan Kung, the Director for Sustainability in the College of Arts and Architecture and a researcher in the Stuckerman School. Her research focuses on sustainable interior design and design for special populations. Mihan's recent Sea Grant project, titled Renewable Energy Art and Design, aims to develop a series of renewable energy art and design installations that provide an opportunity for communities to engage with solar-based electricity generation. Welcome, Mihan, to Growing Impact. Thank you so much for having me here. I'll be glad to share my project with you today. Can you give me a little background about yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Mihan Kang. I'm research professor in the College of Arts and Architecture. Also, I serve as a director for sustainability in the College of Arts and Architecture. So I'm trying to do my best to foster sustainability in the college. Could you tell me about the purpose of your project? <laughs> Sure, the purpose of this project was to develop a series of renewable energy art and design to provide an opportunity for the Penn State community and beyond to recognize the benefits of solar-based electric generation through the form of art and design. Uh, I will just say renewable energy art and design is a relatively new type of art and design that generates or harnesses renewable energy for public art and city design. So our research team created various renewable energy art and design work in a meaningful and artistic way and developed the prototype mockups to connect the community with art, design, energy, environment, and culture. Perfect. Yeah, that's it's amazing, and, and I, I, that's the, the connection between energy and the arts is an interesting one. So, could you talk a little bit? How, how did you get interested in renewable energy? Is that in any of your portfolio and your background? Well. We know that climate change is threatening the human health and economic well-being, and it impacts our interaction with the built and natural environments. So socio-ecological decisions for a sustainable future can reduce the negative impact of climate change on human health and economic well-being, especially for vulnerable populations. Um, I believe that if the renewable energy is the long-term solution for a sustainable future, it should appear as something that we want to be engaged in and learn about it. So I start exploring how to render this idea with the firm belief that clean energy will make a positive impact on climate change. In your background, did you ever work with renewable energy at all? Not really. So it's I'm pushing the boundaries of uh, my design area. OK, that's really cool, though. But that's a that's a that, I like that because of that interesting component. Like, no, I've never done renewable energy, but I want to see how these can be blended for the very purposes you just pointed out. Our world needs some sort of innovations. And why not have those innovations be appealing to those who are going to be using those innovations? So like, that's a beautiful answer, I think. How can art help communicate about science? So when I talk about art, I mean uh, aesthetic experience we have in everyday life. And we have an innate needs for these types of aesthetic experience. Arts would raise awareness and evoke behavioral changes through sensory and emotional experiences concerning our ecosystem impact and scientific and technological intervention. Uh, the artistic practice of imagination, storytelling, music, dance, drama, visual art and design contribute to fostering human growth and development with a creative expression of our experience. 
Uh, artist inquiry spurs our imagination and deepens our understanding of scientific knowledge, and it will contribute to building a lasting commitment to deeper relationships. So what benefits do installations like this provide to the community? So uh, this work has not been installed yet, mm -hmm. but the exhibition of the proposed design was held last summer, and we shared the visualization of the sustainability energy system. At that time, uh, interactive educational activities also organized with, with um, sustainability institution in the collaboration. And all of these and the future installations um, is for the enhancement of energy literacy of the participants and to empower uh, our renewable energy adaptation. So many visitors in the exhibition wondered if the works has been already installed and mm -hmm. wanted it to be the place immediately. <laughs> and when they heard we hope to implement, they asked how they could support moving forward. Uh, the installation, as well as the process of renewable energy art and design development would inspire uh, imagination with a positive attention and impact on the historical environment and local community. Um, besides, well, it would broaden educational and learning opportunities in providing equitable power for public art and city design. So for example, I invited uh, Penn State student chapter of the American Solar Energy Society when I developed a prototype mock-up and it was a great that we have a student engagement. Mm -hmm. As such, collaborating with the communities in the development and installation process down the road uh, can help further discuss sustainability and climate change. And eventually, once installed, the contemporary uh, public art may serve as the place to learn about energy issues where renewable energy is in action. I've seen on your mock-ups about places where you hope to put them on. I think Shavers Creek was one. Uh, yeah, Shavers Creek is one place. Uh, Alboritum is one place. So I'm trying to find a place in the local community where visitors can have a meaningful experience. Yeah. I, uh, I suspect State College would be welcoming to that. So I, I, I would, I look forward to seeing where you can find a location because I bet there are, I, I suggest that the, the borough itself will be very welcoming and a great place for that to be installed. Where do you find inspiration to develop the concepts? Uh, my inspiration has deep connection with the nature. Biophilic design approach by considering the direct and indirect experience of nature and the experience of space and place. We want to connect with nature and have a intrinsically designed built environments in the connection to the nature. So particularly for this project, our team uh, desire to integrate um, ecological identity into renewable energy art and design cities that we plan to develop and consider the native flora and fauna for the project. So among the 10 renewable energy art and design that we developed, Luminous was designed from the official state insect of Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Firefly, which transforms um, the midnight Midsummer night into a fair, you know, fairy land of tiny, brilliant, uh, twinkly lights, kind of true wonder of nature. And also, um, beyond it's become the significant insect to the region of Pennsylvania, firefly serve as a symbol of hope and lighting the landscape during dusk. The aesthetic of luminous was closely inspired by the organic and layered aesthetic uh, and the life of the insect. Luminous creates a system that can be spread across an open area, showing us with a surprise of firefly light with the solar energy. So the, another example of the renewable energy art and design Lorel was designed to be a system of a structure that observes solar energy with the aesthetic of a flower, mountain Lorel, uh, which is the Pennsylvania state flower. 
The mountain laurel is a flower, also act as an important element for pollinations. And all the configurations in the system of the laurel is interchangeable with the movement of a petal. And it's really mimic the occurrence of the flower itself. So the big inspiration came from the nature. Another approach is related to social issues. So for example, um, Renewable energy art and design that we developed entitled The Fist symbolize the collective spirit, which shows how a movement can inspire change. The large scale of uh, Fist is made up with many pieces of solar panels that combine together the form of overall structure. So the concept is within the principle that creating a larger ideas, movement and social changes uh, can be possible with a small components from all of us. Those are really powerful. Are there any components of nature that you find yourself drawn to? I wanna bring the outside to the inside and inside to the outside yeah. and really immerse with the nature mm -hmm. and having the uh, spirit of the nature and um, not only the shape or form, but you know, the way that it works, how it goes and how it, um, you know, thrives. So I got a many inspiration from the nature when we are designing for. What are the benefits of working on an interdisciplinary team for an art and energy project? There has been great achievement, um, the scientific understanding of challenges in climate change, but uh, we still have concerns about energy consumption and pollutions. And I think the collaboration opens up maybe the new possibility of environmental performance, expression and impact on human behavior or shift and maybe broadening the social and cultural dimension of humanities and art. So the interdisciplinary approach um, pushes the boundaries of the design and put together um, artistic sensibilities and aesthetic inquiry with a scientific pursuit. So maybe it can come up with an innovative model for sustainable development. And I believe the form uh, of emotional engagement with the human nature, culture, and science can bring the uh, rationally sound and emotionally compelling solutions. Can you talk about future plans or what, what you hope to see to happen with this project? Sure, uh, our research team will continue to seek out additional funds uh, through industry partners, foundations, and the community for the fabrication and installation of the renewable energy art and design pieces that we designed. Uh, as I mentioned, we had the exhibition on the proposed design, but uh, have not been fully developed for um, the fabrication and installation. We developed mockups at this point. Uh, we might have more community workshops with the stakeholders to build the support toward its implementation. And ultimately, we hope to construct many pieces of the renewable energy art and design that we designed um, through the Penn State and Commonwealth campuses to, um, you know, accelerate the renewable energy adaptation and uh, enlighten up about clean energy issues. Thank you, Mihan, for being on Growing Impact and discussing your research. Thanks for the opportunity to talk about my project and thanks for having me here. You've been listening to Growing Impact, a podcast by the Institutes of Energy and the Environment at Penn State. I've been your host, Kevin Sliman. To learn more about IEE and to hear previous episodes of Growing Impact, please visit iee.psu.edu. This has been Season 3, Episode 4. Thank you for listening.